Hey everyone, here I've got uh, one incredible bass from uh, the master down in Uplands, California, known as uh, Mr. Jimmy Capolo of the Leva Capolo. It is an awesome instrument, probably, um, I don't know, one of the most uh, best representations of days of, or sorry, basses from the past. Um, namely Fender, obviously. Uh, bass is constructed basically with Leo's total inspiration. Um, the finish is done by an ex-Fender employee in New York. Um, pickups are hand-wound uh, at Jimmy's factory. Is a pretty cool place I've actually been. Um, this fretboard is none other than the end all and be all in the Capolo lineup, which is Brazilian rosewood. Um, this one constitutes with his latest model, it's a classic Supreme limited edition, uh, mainly because of the Brazilian board and he has such limited supply of it. Uh, cool, very kind of flamed sugar maple neck, which is so awesome. Um, does that kind of in a flat song fashion. Uh, awesome lollipop hip shop tuners. Cool perlite pick guard. I don't know if many of you know that uh, Jimmy also likes to sign the neck pocket and sometimes the neck. So every single one of his bases is basically a story. And I think they're all really inspiring instruments regardless of whatever one you buy, if it's a standard, if it's one of the crazy 8109s or a Yo Shorty or anything, look at his website, he's got really cool stuff. He's probably the best of the best out there. Um, and just crazy attention to detail. A very cool steel bridge. Um, yeah, I don't know if many of you guys know the preamp very well. It's designed by uh, Jimmy himself as well. It's a uh, standard like like a jazz bass where you get volume volume um, It's push-pull for active passive and it's, it's the tone knob obviously and uh, Basically in active mode when it's pushed down. You've got a uh, uh, Treble boost and bass boost. So this is set up where it's completely off I typically play it that way. I mean, you play it with a little bit of bass, a little bit of treble, it's nice. You don't really need to add much to Jimmy's basses. In fact, playing the passive is pretty awesome. I always find that engaging the preamp gives it a little bit more booty. And yeah, these are uh, very inspiring instruments and they're a hell of a lot of fun to play. I've had many of them just because I like experiencing them. I wish I could keep them all, but I can't. I'm just not made of money. So uh, yeah, you know, just give it a quick little quick little spin. <laughs> keeping this in this fashion here, the, uh, the way the knobs are actually pointed with the little um, markings. But this is basically tone on full. Uh, these pickups I back off so I can play with them and make the back pickup jump out a little bit. Fully crank, so this is with the active uh, pick, uh, sorry, 
Mm-hmm. 